Good afternoon and welcome to After School Snack Time. We are so glad you're here. Hello, friends. Welcome back to After School Snack Time. If you've joined us before, we are glad you're here. And welcome if this is your first time joining us. Whether this is your first time, second time, you don't know how many times you've joined us. We are delighted that you're here. I am Ms. Parker, the Financial Education and Community Outreach Ambassador, and I'm joined here by the Roo Crew. Ms. Rusalina is the savings kangaroo who plans all of our fun adventures and Penny and Cash are students just like you. Each week, we have snack and a story, and we learn something new. Ms. Rosalina, what have you planned for snack today? Oh, banana bread energy balls. That sounds delicious. Let's head into the kitchen where we can get to mixing and making this nutritious but delicious snack. Who's ready for snack? Me! Miss Rusalina has picked out another delicious snack for us today. Let's get to mixing and making. <laughs> this snack is pretty easy to make but you still need a grown-up's help because you are using a kitchen appliance called a food processor. The hardest part may have been mashing up the bananas and then you just pour everything in and mix it up and roll them out into balls and then they'll be ready to eat. So let's get to mixing it all up. Now that everything is all mixed up, it's time for us to scoop it and make our energy balls. I have a little scooper and we're gonna scoop a ball, a little scoop of this, and we're gonna take it out and it's ready. But I have a couple of kitchen helpers that want to taste it, so I need to scoop out a couple of extras. And you can eat these right away, or you can put them in an airtight container and save them for later. All right. All right, friends, would you eat this again? <laughs> there you have it. Delicious, nutritious, and we make it again. Let's head on over to the story couch. Now that we've had our snack, it's time for our story. And Miss Rusalina has picked out another great one for us today. Let's jump right in, friends. Joe the monkey saves for a goal. by John Lanza. Pictures by John Lanza and Patrick Rooney. Joe the monkey loved to swing on his backyard vine. Loop de whack, this isn't good. Ouch. But no matter how hard he tried, Joe could not do the loop-de-loo trick on his worn old vine. It was just too short and scraggly and certainly not springy enough to do the loop-de-loo. Every time he tried, Joe found himself crunched up against the tree. Joe wanted the shiny new Supervine 3000 more than anything he could imagine. Blazing bananas, look at that beauty. The Supervine 3000 was long and springy and Joe knew that if he had one, he could do the loop-de-loo. 
He asked his dad to buy him the Supervine 3000. Great idea, said his dad with a smile. Put it on your birthday list. He asked his mom. I would love to, Joe, but I'm afraid we have too many other things to buy for the family this month. He even asked his little sister Marmoset. I have $2 in my share jar for friends or for charity, said Marmoset. You can have my money to help you buy the Supervine 3000. Joe emptied out the money from his save jar, $2. Blazing bananas, I'll probably get change back. Joe counted his money and the money Marmoset had given to him. $2 plus $2 was $4. Surely the Supervine 3000 couldn't be more than $4. Joe the monkey headed down to the store, clutching his save jar with $4. He proudly plopped his $4 down on the counter. I'll take the Supervine 3000. The clerk looked at Joe's money. I'm sorry, Joe, but the Supervine 3000 costs $20. Please, please sell me the Supervine 3000 for $4, begged Joe. I'm sorry, said the clerk, but it costs $20. Joe looked on the ground for money. He spied only a paper clip, but I must have the Supervine 3000 to do the loop-de-loo. I wish I could help you, said the clerk, but the Supervine 3000 costs $20. No more, no less. You're just going to have to save more money. Joe sulked slowly home. His friend Clara J. Camel saw him coming. What's wrong, Joe? I want the Supervine 3000 so I can do the loop-de-loo, but I don't have enough money to buy it. I'll never get to do the loop-de-loo. Set a goal, responded Clara. A goal? asked Joe. Paste a picture of what you want to buy on your safe jar, where you keep your allowance your parents give you every week, said Cl Clara. Then write down how much it costs. And every week when you receive your allowance, put the money in your safe jar until you have enough money to buy the thing you want. That will take a long time, complained Joe. Saving money takes time. But will it work, asked Joe. Sure, responded Clara. That's how I bought this nifty dress. When Joe got his $4 allowance the next week, he saved it. Now he had the $4 he started with plus four more dollars, eight dollars. Is it enough, he asked his dad. Not yet, responded Mr. Monkey, but you're doing a great job saving your money. Joe got his allowance the next week, four more dollars. Is it enough, he asked his mom. Not yet, said Mrs. Monkey, but now you have $12 and you're closer to your goal. Joe got his allowance the next week, $4. Is it enough? He showed the bank to Clara. Not yet, but $16 is so close to your goal. Joe the monkey was so tired of saving week after week. It was taking too long. He didn't know if he could wait another week for his allowance. That's when he ran into Vargas the vulture. Hey, Joe, what's jiggling in your jar? I'm saving for the Supervine 3000, see? That's a lot of money, Joe. You could buy a whole bunch of candy with that. 
Ooh, candy, thought Joe. I love candy. But Vargas, I really want to, to do the loop-de-loo. Loop-de-loo? Whoop-de-doo, Joe. Do you know how much candy you could buy with that money? No, I don't. How much, asked Joe. Vargas looked at the jar. A super duper looper lot. A super duper looper lot, said Joe. Wow, that much candy would be so yummy. I'm going to the store right now to stock up, said Vargas as he turned to leave. Come with me. You can save for your snoop de snoo later. Don't make fun of my trick. It's called the loop-de-loo, insisted Joe. I can't go. I'm saving for the Supervine 3000. You really want to wait another week when you could get some candy right now? Vargas asked. You can save for the Supervine later. That made sense to Joe. He could have candy and the Supervine 3000. While he was still deciding what to do, Vargas whispered. The store was a super duper looper lot of green vine licorice. Green vine licorice, my favorite. Joe couldn't resist any longer. Okay, let's go. Joe slapped his save jar on the counter. I want all the green vine licorice that $16 can buy. The clerk was about to hand Joe the jar when in walked Clara. Joe the monkey, what are you doing with your money? This isn't good, says Vargas. Buying some green vine licorice, Joe said softly. You'll have enough money to buy the Supervine 3000 with your next allowance, explained Clara. Joe collected his money from the counter and counted it. He had $16. His next allowance was $4. Clara helped her friend. $16 plus $4 is $20, shouted Joe. Sorry, Vargas, but I'm saving for a goal, Joe said proudly. I can't quit right now. When Joe got his next allowance of $4 later that week, he began to count 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I have $20. Joe showed his dad. Congratulations, Joe, proclaimed his proud papa. You saved enough money for your goal. Thanks, dad. Joe showed his mom. Wow, you did a great job saving your allowance, Joe. Thanks, mom. Blazing bananas, I saved enough for my goal. Joe ran as fast as his monkey feet would carry him straight to the store. I'll take the Supervine 3000, said Joe, and he handed the clerk $20. Congratulations, Joe, and watch out for low-lying limbs. Thank you, said Joe. I will. Joe ran straight home and attached the Supervine 3000 to his tree. He took a big breath, climbed the long springy new vine and took a mighty swing. Blazing bananas, I did it, howled the happy monkey. I finally did the loop-de-loo. What did you think of that story, friends? Had you read this book before?
I love reading this book because it teaches a few important things. The most important thing is about saving. But we also learned from Joe's sister, Marmoset, about having a share jar. Do you have a piggy bank or a save jar at home? Do you have a share jar? What about a spend jar or a wallet to keep your money safe? Having a save, share, and a spend jar is really, really important for money because whenever we have money, we need to think about it in those three ways. The most important jar to have is a save jar, saving your money until you're ready to make a deposit at the credit union to keep your money safe. And to have a goal that you're saving for is really important. But it can also be important to save for just in case. If Joe the monkey had been saving just in case, he might have had enough money to buy his Supervine 3000 a whole lot faster. But he doesn't seem like he was the type to save just because. And so he had to be patient and keep saving week after week. But if we are patient and keep at it, we can reach our goal just like Joe the monkey. I would love to hear from you if you are saving for something, how you like to save, maybe even send us a picture of what your save, share, and spend jars look like. And if you don't have one, it's never too late. You can look around the house and find boxes or jars that maybe someone's not using anymore, and you could reuse them to make your save, share, and spend jars. It's always great for the environment when we can find ways to reuse things that we have. And it saves us money because you're not having to buy something new to fill the need that you have. I hope you enjoyed this story and that you will join us again next week for after school snack time. It is always so good to see you friends. Have a great week. See you next time.